Hello everybody and welcome to today's Monday live stream. As always, I'm very, very excited to be here. Um, and today with a little bit more of a casual thing. So I'm excited to be back with Stardew Valley. It's been a really long time since I played this, or at least it feels like it. I indulged myself not too long ago and got a bunch of really fancy games. And I've been playing those, but it's good to go back to something I really like as well. But hey, look, it's me. Hi! I just wanted to wave hello to all of you guys. Hello, it's good to see you all. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Whoops. When I clicked that, I accidentally opened up a program. Oh well. We'll make it work. We're going to Danny's farm. It's a cool farm. Anyway, I hope that everybody had a good weekend after my Saturday gameplay of... What did I play on Saturday? Dragon Quest! Oh, good game. Fun game. But, like I said, I just wanted to go back to something like this. Just a little yippee yippee. I know how to make tortillas. So, I'm very excited because a few times ago when I played this, I finally managed to get the calendar up so I can see what's going on. And look, it's the old man's birthday. So now that I know it's his birthday, it means that I'm less likely to miss it. Hooray! Thank you for this random tear, wizard person. Right. So one of the issues right now is I'm near the end of fall, so you can see up at the top it says uh, Wednesday the 24th. Um, I am near, near the end of the fall season, which means that there's really not much point in growing anything else, or planting anything else, rather. So, not 100% sure what I'm going to do, um, but we'll see. Rabbit's foot score! For sure I need to make some mayo, because everybody loves mayo. Actually, not really. You know, come to think of it, I don't believe anybody in the game legitimately loves mayonnaise. Which, I actually appreciate quite a bit. Because mayonnaise is disgusting. That said, I am very excited because I've got this device right here, which automatically harvests all of the stuff from my, um, my barn animals which is just so tremendously helpful. So it makes it much easier to do this stuff. So I approve of that. Hey look, squirrel power, oh my God. Squirrel power, it has been like way too long. How have you been? Like I haven't seen you since you were yelling at me about not playing squirrel girl enough, which is irrelevant now, so ha. Take that. <laughs> it's good to see you, though. Thanks for dropping by. But indeed, rest in peace, Marvel heroes. You shall be missed. You are missed, we should say. Let's see here. 10, 8, 13, 7. Four days. I could do bok choy. Maybe. Ugh, that's tough. I'll just leave it. I'm going to buy more seeds, but that's just to stock up. Yeah, that's um, that's actually something that I haven't talked about on my channel for quite a while is Marvel Heroes. Um, it is a very sad thing to see it go. And, well, I mean, it was sad, rather. Um, I mean, the, the fact is, who was that? Who did the thing? Oh, Rev subscribed! Hooray! Thank you so much, Rev. Yay! I don't play Squirrel Girl enough. <laughs> Whatever, Marathon, that's mean. Why y'all being mean to me? I thought we were here to have fun, guys. Why all the hate, bros? Why all the hate? I'm just saying, bros. Squirrel facts. Oh, Rev in the Squirrel facts. But yeah, it's um, 
Yeah, it's been it's been a long time since Marvel Heroes, or I guess it feels like it's been longer than it has. Well, no, it's been almost a year now. It it has been a good while. Um, but yeah, I mean it it will it will forever have a place in our hearts. But in the end, it was very tragically mismanaged, and like the only people to blame for that are the people who were in charge, like. That's really all it boils down to. And honestly, that's one reason why I never really enjoyed playing online games was because I always worry about stuff like that. So right now, oh, really? Really, my apricot is stuck out of bounds. So uh, one thing that I always worry about when I start playing online games, like I'm playing Elder Scrolls Online right now, is I worry about the games and or company going under. Um, thankfully with Elder Scrolls I don't have to worry too too much about it but even so you know Star Wars Galaxies ended up going belly up everybody loved it but then some stupid stuff happened and bad 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 effectively so it was not good but you know what I mean what are we gonna do right what are we gonna do so let me go give Grumpy McGrumperton his gift. And then I think I'm going to head to the desert today. Sup, Abigail? Here, have a rabbit. Or that's a, a duck feather. Aw, oh, shoot. Now my wife's going to be mad at me. I didn't mean it, wifey. Here we go. So the nice thing about the rabbit's foot is that it's a universal love. So everybody literally loves the rabbit's foot, which means that you get the maximum bonus for it. Um, so that's why I will, um, I'm always excited to see them. Same thing for the, uh, the prismatic shard, which is like the, the rarest of all the elements. It's really difficult to get, but once you have it, it's like, boom diggy! That's right, I said boom diggy. What of it? Off we go to the desert! Ah, see, now I'm feeling all reminiscent about Marvel Heroes. I was reading about it the other day for some reason. I don't remember why. There was, there was like an article about it. I, I mean, I assume it was an old article. Um, because it was talking about like the, the 2.0 changes and everything that had happened to make the game better and all that stuff after um, like the first year or whatever it was, after um, beta. Now, for those who don't know, uh, Marvel Heroes was the main game that I used to stream back when it was still around. It is now defunct, and like I said, it has been for nearly a year. Um, November is the year mark for this particular game. Um, and essentially what what ended up happening was oh my god this is ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous sorry holy free holies this is insane so many bad guys so many slimes Holy crap. This is ridiculous. What kind of RNG is this? Clearly the RNG hates me today. I didn't look at my fortune, but it's probably really bad. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, oh my god, are you serious? So, anyway, Marvel Heroes was an action RPG from um, the, the mind of the man who brought us Diablo, David Brick. And it was very reminiscent of Diablo, and more so Diablo 2. Um, it was a great game, it really was. Like in its heyday, it was amazing. We had a wonderful community. The developers were, um, were really helpful and very responsive to feedback, all of that kind of stuff. But eventually, like, people left the company, David Brevik being the, um, the major one who ended up leaving. And after that, it was just sort of a, a cascade of um, 
not not big name developers, but the major like community managers and all those types of people ended up leaving, and the game just went sour um, very very quickly. Um, there were a bunch of updates that were promised that never got done. They started doing a push to consoles, which ended up killing the PC game, which was the um, which was the original um, like player base. And so everybody, including myself, got really upset about that because we were promised a bunch of content that we never got. And, I mean, it was just bad. It was very poor management of what was once a good game, unfortunately. But, you know, that's, that's what happens in some games at certain points is, you know, they just... Stuff happens, essentially. And it sucks. We wish we could do something, but unfortunately we can't. And, yeah. Um, so for the longest time, actually when I first started streaming, that was the game that I began streaming with, was Marvel Heroes. Um, in part because um, one of the videos that I made a long, long time ago was essentially a how-to-play guide for the game. I went over every single aspect of the game. It was... Pretty awesome, if I say so myself, which I do. And, um, yeah, I, um, I don't know, I just, I miss it sometimes, you know? I really do. I throw out some of this stuff that I don't need. Eat some of my fruit, I guess. But that is the, the very abridged story of what was Marvel Heroes. For a lot of people, um, they ended up going to uh, Path of Exile, which is another, um, another action RPG. And um, I, I personally tried it for a little while. Actually, as Marvel Heroes was going downhill, I was like, I'm looking for something else to scratch that particular itch. So I tried Path of Exile for a little while. I enjoyed it reasonably, but it wasn't as good as I was hoping. So, incidentally, back to this game. This is Stardew Valley. I always describe it as a cross between Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon, where essentially you have the idea of getting to know and endear yourself to the townsfolk. Um, while also growing crops and doing animal husbandry and all of that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a really cool, casual little game that I have had an absolute legitimate blast with. Um, it's surprisingly deep. There's a lot of elements to this game. Um, and it's just a, a fun, cool little thing to play. It's very family-friendly. Um, it's just... It's just a well-made, well-designed game. And honestly, now there's a lot of games that are trying to be like it. Um, one that I played on my stream not too long ago was um, Graveyard Keeper. And honestly, that game was a little bit spooky. <laughs> Which, you know, from the name is kind of understandable. But at the same time, it was just a little bit too much. Not to mention, it's, it's one of these things where once you have a game like Stardew Valley where it's a good, well-made game, and then you have people trying to be like it, then, of course, it's going to invite a comparison to the original. And the, the few games that I've played that are similar to Stardew Valley just don't hold a candle to it. Tobus Ratus? So, Revenant is sharing squirrel facts. The, the, the running joke for me um, when I was playing Marvel Heroes was that I really dislike Squirrel Girl. As, um, I mean, as a Marvel character, I guess she's okay. But I, I find her to be too much of a joke. You know, like, Deadpool is a jokey character. But Squirrel Girl is just ridiculous. She is literally a woman who can control squirrels, and she ended up defeating Doctor Doom, and I believe she defeated Galactus, if I'm not mistaken. For those of you who are familiar with um, 
Marvel mythology, then you know how insane things can get with that kind of stuff. But either way, it's just ludicrous. So that's why I mentioned the running joke when I would, um, when I would stream Marvel Heroes was um, how little I enjoy playing as Squirrel Girl. And more than once I was tricked into doing so, I might add. And it was very inappropriate. Uh, so, back to this game, the game at hand, or at controller, rather. Um, uh, right now, I am in what's referred to as the Skull Caverns. It's just an area that has a bunch of stuff. So, mining is a really great way um, to make money in this game. And these are essentially the more complex, more dangerous mines of the game. For lack of a better term because you have like the regular mines which are in the normal town area and then you have these things which you have to travel to get to and you have to do a whole bunch of stuff before you can even travel up here type of thing and you can see how many nasty bad guys there are it's really annoying but you do make a lot of money with this and it's kind of nice. One of the reasons why I really love this game is it's one of these types of games that you, you see them a lot in, um, um, not really the classic, but I, I guess the, the more appreciated MMOs where you can essentially do whatever you want. Like you make your own fun type of thing. And in this game, you very much have that. So the Star Wars um, Galaxies really comes to mind, where you had a huge, huge amount that you could do, where you set up your own store, you have your own house, and people come by and visit you. There's all sorts of different ways to do pretty much whatever you want, blah, 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 blah. Um, it was an incredibly in-depth and rich experience. So a lot of... Um, MMOs emulate that to some extent at least and in Stardew Valley you have that again to an extent in this case in the form of you have a whole bunch of like little stuff that you can do you've got the mining you've got fishing you've got the um, growing you've got the uh, like the farming animal husbandry all sorts of cool little stuff so it's it's really nice because you can sort of pick what you want to do and it's like um, during any given in-game day, you don't have to do any one specific thing if you don't want to. So it's really nice. I tend to like to go mining just because you can get a whole lot of stuff really fast. And I like getting stuff. Wait, what is this? Sorry, I need to pause it because the chat is like overflowing. Oh yeah, Rev, we missed you on Saturday. It was very sad. It was very, very sad. Oh, you went to the zoo? Awesome! And you got a new apartment. Congratulations. I hope that you all like the new place. Getting a new apartment it all is always super scary, but super fun at the same time. So I hope the process went at least reasonably smoothly for you all. But it's good to have you back, Rev. I'll tell you, I missed you so much. I was just like, oh my god, where's Rev? Like, I'm playing Dragon Quest, and Rev's not even here. It's like, I don't even know what to do. It's very ridiculous. Oh, same apartment, new lease. Gotcha. So you're just renewing. You weren't, like, moving. That makes more sense. Incidentally, if anybody has recommendations as far as games you like to see me play and or specific things you like to see me do in Stardew Valley, just let me know. Because I know I've, I try to ask that all the time, but I've, it's been a long time since I've actually asked that or mentioned it. But you guys know I'm, I'm, you know, um, what's it called? Is it the Fallout Boy song that says, we're not here for your entertainment or I'm not here for your entertainment? Well, that's not true in my case. I'm basically here for your guys' entertainment. So let me know what you'd like to see. I'm down, homies. I won't dance for you, though. So don't ask me to dance. I'm not that kind of streamer, okay? I don't roll like that. I have principles. Mm 
Mining is fun. Especially when you have bombs. Seriously, if you ever try to go mining in this game and you don't have bombs available, it becomes extremely tedious. And, I mean, it's not difficult, but tedious. And I, I've restarted, um, well, not really restarted, but I'm in a couple of other games, um, co-op games. Was, um, there was a, relatively recently at least, there was a big update to this game that enabled um, co-op play. And it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. So I've basically restarted a few times uh, from scratch in co-op games. And I'm just like, wow, I miss all of my stuff so much. Because I, I just, I remember how, how much I've got in this playthrough, like my main playthrough that's just me playing, essentially. And I'm just like, I miss it so, so much when I don't have it available. Alright, it's almost time to go to bed. In-game bed, I should mention. Let me grab this emerald real quick. Oh, and iridium. Oh man, it's a bug. These things are really annoying. So one of the nice things is um, for my recent outings to the mines and the caves and whatnot, I've been sure to um, bring totems. And in this game, you can use totems to instantly transport yourself to certain locations within the game. One of which is your house. So essentially, I can stay out pretty much as late as I want, and then I just teleport back at, like, the last minute type of thing. I'm pretty sure I still have one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, fudge. Run, 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 run! I forgot I have no totems. I could have sworn that I had one more. That is completely my fail. Thankfully, I've got a speed boost right now, so that's helpful. <laughs> Can I play the game where I stab a knife between my fingers? Uh, that, yeah, I, I, can, I can totally play it. Um, I don't know, is stabbing yourself winning or losing that game? Because, uh, also, how fast do I have to go? Oh, boom diggy! I made it, yo! What? Oh, 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 oh. I'm Danny. Who's your Danny? Uh, uh, I'm Danny. Who's your Danny? Uh, uh, I made it to bed. I made it to bed. Cause I'm an adult. That's my song. It's a beautiful song of beauty and wonder. Maru is awesome. Aw, thanks, sweetums. Have a cactus fruit. I've got mail. Nice! I finally got the spicy eel recipe. I've been waiting for that. Alright, let's see. What all can I sell? I can sell these guys and these guys. I can sell these guys and these guys. And I think that's all that's really worth selling. The rest of it I need to store. Look at all my gold ore. Whatever, homie. Whether by an inch or a mile. You make it, you make it. That's how I do. Don't hate the player or the game because I was within the game's rules. So. Pfft. Incidentally, one of the best things about this game is the greenhouse. You have to do some crazy stuff in order to access it, but once you have it, it's it makes everything so much easier. Like, oh my god. So much easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
truffles, truffles. Dang, homies. My inventory is too full to take the mayonnaise. Well, that's fine. Oh, you made lasagna? Oh, Rev, I hate you. I love me some lasagna. Lasagna is delicious. I actually won't sell the void mayonnaise. I'm going to give it to somebody. Because believe it or not, there's a character in this game who really likes black mayonnaise. Don't ask me why. You'll see. You'll see. Don't worry. You'll see. He's a strange character. We'll just leave it at that. An awkward turtle, so to speak. Boop. <laughs> well, I'm pasta now. Oh, I want pasta too. I love pasta. I I just I can't eat pasta very much anymore. It's just it's too many carbs, you guys. And you all are supposed to know the rules about talking about food during my stream. Okay? I know. I know. But Danny, you stream during dinner time. Well, that doesn't mean that you can't wait like, you know, an hour before y'all start talking about deliciousness, okay? It's just called common courtesy. Y'all rude. Take my... Rev, come on now. That is in a probes, sir. In a probes. Nobody's supposed to be talking about food. It's rude. So this is a kind of cool feature of the game is that certain items um, that you make, you can age and they become better quality. As one would expect, such as wines. So it's kind of cool. You're going to make a cake tonight, Marathuin? I hate you. I want cake. I always want cake, though. Like, I always want all foods. Everybody knows that about me. That's just kind of my shtick. What is this? Spirit's Eve. Ooh. <gasps> Guy, that's right! Today is the 1st of October! <gasps> it's time to get spooky! What? what? So, let me get some, what do I need? I'm gonna get just a few grass starters. What else do I need? Wasn't I running out of something or like basically out there it is, the am amaranth. That's the stuff. There's actually no reason for me to be buying this stuff. I'm just buying it. Oh, hey, honey. Sup, sweetums? How you do? You guys hear that? It's my boo. Sup, boo? He's fine. He's back here doing whatever. Have an apple. You know what? I think that as a doctor, Harvey should be scared of apples. Because they're meant to keep the doctor away. I'm just saying. Just giving people random fruit. It's nice because there, there are certain things in the game that at least most people enjoy getting as gifts. Um, and fruits and vegetables are generally one of them. Um, the, for example, there's like a couple of kids in the game and they hate getting vegetables because they're kids. 
you know, stuff like that. Um, the other thing is right now I have to be careful because in the game I'm married, so that means that if I, um, if I go and talk to or give um, any of the bachelorettes a gift, then my wife gets mad at me. I can do it for the eligible bachelors, though, but I married a woman in the game. Incidentally, you are allowed to marry somebody of the same gender, if anyone was curious. So this is where Krobus lives. He's the guy who likes void mayonnaise. Oh, I already gave him. Man. Well, in that case, just give me some bombs. Dang, that was deep, bro. He doesn't have bombs. Oh, right, the dwarf has bombs. If someone tossed a head of lettuce at me, I'd be calling the cops. <laughs> but it's lettuce of love, Rev. Don't you know what LOL stands for? It's lettuce of love. I mean, come on. Here you go, Clint. That's right, it's fun. Now I have a bunch of Omni Geodes that I need to bust up. Ooh, that looks shiny. Ghost crystal, that's spooky. I love that it says gold is mundane. Clay sounds less mundane than gold. Dang it. So, um, for, for anybody who has played Animal Crossing, you may be familiar with the idea of um, going and donating items to the museum. And in this case, you do the exact same thing. Um, but the problem now is I'm at the stage where I found a lot of the stuff and I honestly don't know what's left. And so every time I break open one of these, I hope that it's something I haven't seen before because that means that I'll be able to donate it. But it's, it's been quite a while since I found something good. Most of this is, I mean, it's not garbage, but it's not stuff I can donate. Can at least get most of my money back. When you process a geode, then you have to pay for it. And it's kind of nice because it ends up paying me. I'm um, getting all of these gems out. Fairy stone. That doesn't sound like something I've gotten before. Oh, stupid sandstone. Dang it. Ah, I, I've been trying to figure out what I'm missing. But I just genuinely don't know. All right. Nah. But just because like one couple doesn't do it, Marathwin, doesn't mean that it's not lettuce of love, okay? Rev and his fiance are just one out of millions and millions and millions, if not potentially billions of couples. Uh, maybe one billion. I find it hard to believe that. It, well, no, 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 that's that's something that's fun to estimate, huh? How many couples are there in the world? Hmm. Anyway, um, it's it's one out of many is my point. So that's what I say. Here, I need to give these folks some gifts. Because they're my nerd homies. Oh, I completely forgot that she loves those. So this is kind of cool. Um, the One of the mechanics in this game is you're basically fighting off the big corporation. And they are trying to take over the community center. Just like every 80s movie that takes place on a ski slope. And essentially what we needed to do was we needed to save it, or rather you can choose to either save it or get a membership with the club. 
If you get a membership, then you just pay a bunch of money and it becomes a warehouse. But if you elect to um, try to save it, then you get all of these bonuses around the community and all sorts of stuff and everybody loves you. Um, but, oh wow, 500,000, geez, no. Um, and so after you do that, then you can start doing community upgrades and you get a couple of other um, little bonuses. So it's kind of cool. It's a neat little thing. Uh, let's see, is there anything I need? <sighs> Stable would be kind of cool. You get a horse. Shipping bin might be nice. I wonder if I could put that um, anywhere. So the shipping bin is the, it's the little thing that I kept going to um, um, and putting my junk in. Um, so that's how you sell stuff in this game, or that's one of the ways you sell stuff. You, you doubt that I'm throwing vegetables at my significant other? Whatever, homie. You don't know my life. You don't know what I'm about. You don't know how I do. I'm way more hardcore than you'll ever be, sir. And I'll have you know that she likes it. Although, more often it's kale. Because kale. Didn't I get a quest for this? I did. I've only gotten. Excuse you. No. I don't want bats. I need stairs. Um, so, if you couldn't tell, these are the regular mines in the game. As I mentioned before, I, I was in the Skull Caverns, and these are just the mines. There we go. These are the guys I'm looking for. Ding! Um, so these are the low levels of the mines. The, uh, one of the biggest differences is that the mines have a bottom. They have a floor. Whereas the Skull Caverns, at least to my knowledge, do not. And one of the things is that you have this little elevator up here, and that allows you to um, that that allows you to skip down by five levels, essentially. So every five levels, there's an elevator so that you can skip to it, and you can basically save your progress. Skull Caverns, you can't do that. Pumpkins. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want a pumpkin thrown at me, but, you know, like, kale or some other kind of leafy vegetable, like, yo, do it. Like, I'm down for that, homie. Incidentally, Elliot there, he's a writer. Just FYI. Just putting it out there. Um, now I need to find the mayor. Oh, something's happening. Something is afoot! Ooh. Eight hour writing session. Oh, you poor thing. Besides, Rev, you don't know where I'm from. You don't know my life. You don't know how I be. To... To your doom. To our friendship. Look at me chug. I'm like a frat boy. Ah! <laughs> Elliot, come on. 
Elliot's ridiculous. Wait, am I buzzed? I am. I am tipsy. That is hilarious. I legitimately did not know that you could be tipsy in this game. That's fun. He writes Naruto shipping fanfic? Ugh. No thank you. Oh, I'm not tipsy anymore. Ooh. Milk and iced tea. Ew. So, incidentally, the, um... Um... You are allowed to get divorced in this game. As you guys saw, you can file for divorce. But essentially, after you get divorced, then basically your ex-spouse refuses to talk to you. Or they, um, I guess you could say they just get like really upset at you type of thing. They just, they don't like you anymore. Um, but apparently, I don't know where it is, but apparently there's a way to essentially erase their memory, uh, which allows you to court them again. And I was like, that's crazy. I'm making jams and jellies, homie. That's how I do. And I'm selling truffles and other miscellaneous. I'm going to sell this egg. And put that away, put that away, put that away. All right. So one of the reasons why I have these earth crystals in, in these little crystal area is because they're, um, they're part of a recipe that I tend to make fairly frequently, like a, an item recipe, essentially. I just need to plant some grass for my animals, make sure that they've got enough to eat. It's only for a couple more days, but still. My homie's got to eat, yo. And soon, TM, I will need to harvest, like, all of my stuff here. Because it is almost winter. And essentially, when winter happens, everything dies. Literally overnight, everything dies. It's crazy. Um, what was I going to do? It seemed important at the time. I can go ahead and grab the rest of the hay that I need. Is it? All right. The winter is coming. That is true. Winter is coming. It's on the way. It's slow going, but it is coming. Oh, shoot. That's what I needed to do. Or rather, what I can do. I can go to the secret forest that is not so secret. Eh. Off to the secret forest. Oh, and tomorrow's Friday. That means the cart's going to be here. So the, the cart, the special cart, is a thing that shows up right here. And um, it's the only place in the game that I've been able to find coffee beans that you can then subsequently plant. And coffee beans are awesome because you harvest and plant the same item. And you always get, like, I think it's three to five whenever you harvest it. So I can basically have, like, a continual crop of coffee coming in. But, like I said, it's the only place that I've seen it in the game. No, don't use a bomb. Why would you use a bomb to defeat a slime? That makes no sense. The 
It's still summer. Well, yeah, Marathon. I mean, you're you're in um, Florida, so I I imagine you get like three days of fall and like half a day of winter before it comes back to summer, or something along those lines. Same in Texas, I'm guessing. I mean, well, no, you're um you're you're up north, aren't you, um, uh, Rev? So if you're up north in Texas, then you get like actual winter. I want to clear some land here. You know, I, I need to figure out if the hives work in the um, greenhouse. Because if they do, that would be awesome. I don't think that they, they make honey during the winter. But if hives work indoors, that would be awesome. Totally awesome. Where are my acorns? There's the acorns. Did you eat the acorn? You owe me a new acorn. Really nobody for Emperor's New Groove? <laughs> Generation is the worst. The worst, I tells ya. Look at all that money I'm making. I'm rich in the game. In real life, I have no money. Unfortunately. Because nobody pays me enough. I need to get paid more to do all the stuff that I do. I don't have anything. Here, have some cranberries, babe. She didn't like the cranberries. Of course we're going to Spirits Eve Festival, homie. It's Spirits Eve. Greetings from the Calico Desert. Aw. You can come thank me in person. Well, Sandy, that's rather forward of you. The Dark Spectre. Aw, oh, man, that sucks. I'm going to have to go um, after today. And, like, the, the Halloween festival in this game is actually really cool. It's a lot of fun. There's actually no real reason for me to harvest these. Um, because there's not enough time for them to regrow. But I will anyway. Same for the grapes. So this game goes in cycles of 28 days. Every season is the same length in this game, just for sake of ease, essentially. Hey, look at that. My sweet gem berry is done. This literally takes all season to grow. And what are we going to do with it? We're going to make seeds out of it. <laughs> One week of slightly cold. Ha! Look at that! See? Now I have two seeds! <laughs> People are gonna say that I'm a cheater and that I'm a hacker, but I'm not. I just play by the rules, yo. My rules are just better than yours. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, that made no sense. It might snow enough to barely cover the grass. Yeah, um, where, where I used to live, we, we had the same kind of thing, Rev, where like, essentially, if it snowed, then the entire city shut down. Like, they, they literally would not let cars on the roads. Everything shut down. Um, and then the snow is gone by, like, noon. But it didn't matter. 
It was, um, it was really weird. It was really, really weird. Let me think, what should I do here? I should probably take the sweet gem berries and plant them in my greenhouse. They should grow in the greenhouse. I think. I hope. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I remember it was always funny seeing snow where I used to live. Cause I miss snow. I honestly do. Where where I used to live, like before the other most recent place, um, it snowed pretty consistently for the winters. Um, like we we would we would see it more more winters than we didn't essentially, and I really really miss that. I'm. I'm genuinely sad that I don't get to see snow regularly anymore. It's it's one of the things that I really miss about weather like that. Or rather, I should say having actual weather. Because for for a good portion of my life, I've lived in places that really don't have weather. <laughs> they uh, Or rather, they, they don't have seasons. They just have, like, it's really hot, and it's slightly less hot, essentially. And that's about the size. You've only seen snow once and hoping for a white Christmas. Well, I mean, if, if you're in Florida, then it's highly unlikely that you're going to be seeing that. I mean, if you're going to visit people, hopefully you're going up north to visit people, then maybe you have a chance. But other than that, sorry. <laughs> Like, it's not going to happen. I, I know I, I think the same thing. Like, I, I really hope that I'll see a white Christmas. I'm, uh, I, I will be going on a trip, so I'm excited for that. Not sure if it's going to snow. I kind of doubt it. But we can hope. So let me get my other things planted here. I think that they can grow inside of this. Ugh, I need water. Stupid thing. I need to head down to the, um, what's it called anyway? To the cart. See if they got anything good. Hopefully they will. Everybody cross your fingers that the RNG was nice to me for once. Y'all best be crossing fingers. That's all I'm saying. While I'm down here, I can fill my watering can. One thing that really changes this game and how you play it is getting those sprinklers. After you get sprinklers, then, like, the farming aspect is just, it's completely different. It's a very, very different thing. Come on. Really? You've got artichoke dip at... <gasps> Coffee! Oh, my God. Yes! Finally! Thank you. So excited. I finally got Coffee. I've been waiting forever for that stupid coffee bean. It's kind of depressing. Today is an antisocial day. I'm just gonna stay on my farm and hang out. Work on stuff. Right. To heck with convention, I'm just putting it here. Coffee bean. My one coffee bean. This is gonna get me so much coffee though. Like, no joke. I forgot a thing of blueberries. I guess I'll be a little bit social. Only a little. 
me see. Who else do I need to... So this is one that's fun. I need a rainbow shell. I don't know where they are. Well, I know where they are, but I don't know how to get them. Because I, I think that they're unavailable during the um, fall and winter. I think you can only get them like spring and summer. Missing out on Sam and Haley, mostly. I don't like either one of them, though. Especially Haley. Haley sucks. She's just a bad person. If you know, if any of you have played this game, then you know what I'm talking about. I just do not like her. Tomatoes. One thing that I endeavored to do in my greenhouse was to um, stick with um, items that essentially you grow them and then they keep growing. So they, um, like you harvest it once and then you can harvest again and again and again, essentially. Oh, you grew up near the Appalachians? That's cool. So yeah, I mean, that's... Well, I guess it's not necessarily too far north because you could be in like the Carolinas. But still, it's relatively north up there. Have a blueberry. So Abigail is one of the bachelorettes. So I can't give her stuff. Where is sweet Caroline? Sweet Caroline. Oh, you were up in Maryland. Okay. So, yeah. I'm sure you saw plenty of snow. Still, I'm jealous because I really do miss snow. I miss it that much. Oh, Haley gets better? Wait, what? Dang it, lazy bum. Um, it's nice that Haley gets at least somewhat better. So, that's good at least. But even so, I don't particularly care to get to know her better. <laughs> I mean, I guess like aside from doing achievements or whatever, but even then, I've I've never been a major achievement person when it comes to video games. That's never been something I care too much about. That said, I'm totally going to play these games for a little bit. This game is so adorable. I don't know what it is about this, but I just, I just find it so fun. It reminds me of the, um, oh, there was a, um, a minecart mini game in, um, Super Mario RPG, which is my favorite game of all time and remains so to this day. Um, and you had something sort of similar to this. It was more sophisticated, obviously, um, even though Mario RPG was on the SNES. But they had a very similar, like, side view like this with the, with the scrolling that you had to go through. It's fun. It's just a goofy little, you know, Gameception thing that they got going in this one. And this minecart jumps really high. Also, you can't control how high it jumps. It always jumps the same no matter what. No! Yeah. I tried to push it immediately, but couldn't. I really like this one, Journey of the Prairie King. This one's so much fun. Pew, 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 pew. This one is, is like, it's more gamey. I guess for lack of a better term. Like, it feels more like a game. I, um, I guess it, it feels more complete, I guess is a, a good way to put it. They just like become legit scared of me. I 
As they say, the new Red Dead Redemption is looking good. Coffee! So coffee just lets you move faster, incidentally, if anyone was curious. Whoa. I don't know how I feel about the death tombstone thing. Oh, it's a big bomb. Good to know. Oh, shoot. I meant to pause it. New link. What? Nah. <laughs> I think coffee makes everybody move faster in real life. That's kind of a shtick. Incidentally, there's a um, there's a character event. So you guys saw earlier when I went into like the little bar thing, and Elliot came up and was talking to me, and we did the toast. So that is, um, it's like a a character event or something like that. I don't know exactly what they're referred to as, but there's one of those where you play a two-player version of this game with one of the um, bachelorettes, in this case, Abigail. And it's really fun. It's kind of cool. I wish that they, they had it available in the, the co-op version of the game. Now, actually, they might. I don't know if they do. They should if they don't. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I like froze all of them, and I confused them. That was strange. Oh, jeez. Good thing I'm all hopped up. Ow. Being hopped up didn't help me. Ah, too many! Too many! Run, 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 run! Having the orthogonal aiming is rather difficult. If anyone was curious, I'm sure that you all were. Ah! Oh man, I knew that was gonna happen too. I was like, if I stand there, some guy's gonna pop out and then I'm gonna be dead. Ah. I fail. Yay! But see, that game's fun. I, I like it. Eh. I love I can swing my sword in a bar. Because safety. Wait, what? Ooh, coffee. Fancy coffee. What is this? There's a link. I'm following it. <laughs> oh, Doge. Everybody loves Doge. Hey, look, it's the kiddos. Um, I don't think they like blueberries. Let me try. Yeah. It's weird because even though like blueberries and um, and cranberries and cactus fruit and all of this stuff that I've got are considered fruit, from the perspective of the kids, they're basically vegetables. Oh, that's Haley. We don't like Haley. Go away. Oh, that's right. It's Friday, so everybody goes to the bar. Everybody goes to the bar. Right, I'm going to the bar too, I guess. Even though I just left. That's pretty crazy. A super dark coffee that's not bitter. I mean, I, I'm not a coffee drinker, right? But, um, I mean, it's that's pretty impressive to have. I'm... Uh, from what I understand, 
of drinking coffee. <laughs> wait, 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 get your gifts. No, don't eat it. Wait, everybody get your gifts. Yes, that's the nice thing about Friday nights. It's easy to give everybody their gifts. Coffee shouldn't be bitter. I've always heard that it's super bitter, though. That's Penny. She's one of the bachelorettes, so I can't give her a present. Sorry, Pen. Nitrogen coffee. I, 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 I'm scared to ask what nitrogen coffee is. So is it coffee that's brewed with liquid nitrogen? I remember reading about some people who were, um, who were making coffee like they were brewing coffee, but instead of water, they used Monster. And I was like, dude, you're going to like legit die. Like, you will be dead after this. I mean, it's like, coffee is already bad enough, but then... Not only do you have monster energy drink, but you are concentrating it because it boils. So, it's just like, ew. Oh, interesting. Well, good to know, Rev. Like you said, I'm, I'm weird, right? Because I don't drink coffee. Everybody tells me that I'm really weird since I don't drink it. Um, I personally don't care. But like everybody tells me, like, hey, why don't you drink coffee? And we just got a fancy new coffee maker in the lab, too. And I'm kind of sad because I can't use it. Well, I mean, I can, but I wouldn't enjoy it nearly as much as some of the other people. Yeah, I just, I don't, I, I've never been a coffee person. It's, I mean, it's not really weird. It just, I, I, it's never been my thing. I, ever since I was little, I remember my mom always drinking coffee. Like, she, she's legit addicted, I'm pretty sure. Bait? Really? I got bait. Thanks for nothing, game. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So, like, instead of being carbonated, like soda is, the coffee has nitrogen inside. That's weird. I don't understand people and their obsession with coffee. And that's why I was all, I was always weirded out by Starbucks because it's just like I'm going to take a mocha latte frappo capo hui with whipped cream and caramel sauce and make it pumpkin spice, right? And you end up drinking like 500 calories before the day even starts. And so if you have to add that much sugar and cream and wackiness to coffee just to make it palatable, then clearly you're doing something wrong with your beverage choices. Like I, I just, I never understood that. Oh, and with almond milk. Because healthy with my whipped cream and caramel sauce. Because I can't risk putting poisons into my body that might be harmful or whatever. Heaven forbid. I mean, obviously I'm exaggerating, but at the same time, it's just, 
to an extent that is what happens and it's just to me personally it's weird i'm i mean maybe i myself am just weird but still And fast food coffee is apparently better than Starbucks. That's crazy. That's like even crazier than I thought it could be. Incidentally, I'm just, uh, after this, I'm going to head to bed in the game. Because uh, it's, it's time for me to go. It's getting a little bit late and I still have to eat. I will, however, do something fun. So, don't worry. I'll just go to sleep so I can save. And then we'll have a little bit of fun on the farm. <laughs> so today is all Hallow's Eve. Ooh, spooky. All right, you guys ready for this? Just remember, kids, you got to remember that you can't save it after you do this. Oh, it doesn't do anything to the buildings. It does wreck up the gate, though. I thought it ruined trees, too. Let's see if it hurts the animals. Good! No animals were harmed in the destruction of this farm. Somehow. <laughs> Finally, I got the trees to fall. I was wondering how long it would take. And I got pine cones. Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, with that, like I mentioned, I'm going to get going. Thank you guys so much for being here, as always. Hope that you all liked it. Hey, look, this stuff is still okay. Um, but like I said, um, it, it's always a fun time playing this little game. Um, do let me know if there's anything specific you guys would like to see or have me do or whatever it is, because you guys know I, I, I am here for your entertainment. You know, that's how I do. It is what I'm here for. So there you go. Um, but... Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for a poll for Saturday. Um, I'll, I'll probably put one up so I can see what you guys want me to play. But have a good week. Have fun. And I will hopefully see everybody on Saturday. Bye-bye.